what Mike is doing here. Tell what you're doing. So this is called a rapid release therapy. It's going to help unwind the faster. It's going to bring more nutrition to the area. It's going to help with the waste product out. So when people have a problem area, you get adhesions and scar tissue. She has an old scar tissue of cut in there. I do. I fell and off I, a pool. And I suspect ever since she was a kid, she got that cut that it's going to create a problem down the road. And now that's what she's experiencing. So her everyday lifestyle and the experience on this boat is now compounded that old scar tissue. So we're going to loosen up that scar tissue, which is a common cause of people's problems, break down those adhesions, bring more nutrition to the area. And this always helps people. It's just a matter of how dramatic it is with one treatment. The 90% of people, the first treatment, she'll get up and she'll be able to squat better with less pain. I will tell you, I mean, I've been in a lot of pain. And then I've realized that I'll just live with it, you know. And then my doctor's on me. He's like, no, you know, but I've had x-rays on it. And he said, you know, I'm going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you know, you're going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you're going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you're going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you're going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you're going to have to get some x-rays. And then they said, well, you know, he's got his own chiropractic office and he's trying to know and uh, what he does and uh, what he gives you the information and I showed you, Sandy, can you show, well, we'll show the flyer later, but he's doing, all the sports players uh, that you're telling us are mm -hmm. giving treatments if they hurt their knee and everything, so. Every, every professional athletic league, the major league teams, NFL, everybody, including this, the uh, Super Bowl champions all have players getting this technique. So we follow what the million dollar athletes do. We're going to treat this young lady just like she's a multi million dollar athlete, right? Okay? Yes, my legs are insured. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Andy Dickens' legs are insured, <laughs> well, I have to work at curves a little bit more. <laughs> I want you to bend your knee a few times as I'm doing it. It's kind of slow. I feel a difference already. Good. All right, so it's kind of relaxed. Now we're going to switch over to this head here. Okay? Yeah, it's kind of like right through right here. Right there, okay. Yeah. That's what it hurts, yeah. Right there? Yeah. I'm not sure that, what muscle is that? You know, what happens, you get all your medial collateral ligaments in there, plus you have all the muscle attachments and tendons all around this area. And you got actually four joints in your knee. You have your patella, with your kneecap, you have your fibula, your tibia, and your feet are all come together. And everybody thinks your knee is a real simple hinge, but it's really not. It's actually every time it flexes, it also rotates. So it's a much more complicated joint than people realize. But the problem with the knee is you're always on it. You know? That's true. I used to figure skate back in the day, so that could be a little mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's really good. I told you. I used to be a flight attendant with Florida Panthers. Oh, yeah? They would say, isn't that a flight attendant over there doing jumps? <laughs> <laughs> no, this feels really good. And then, and, and this is called a what treatment? Rapid release therapy. Okay. Rapid, this is something new. RRT, rapid release therapy. Right. When he said he had a seminar today after working out, and he talked about joint pain, I was like, I'm there. <laughs> I'm here. All now. right. So you all got to make you shut off this perfect timing. All right. So just kind of sit normal like you were, and when we get done with hers, and then we'll stand up and see if that moves any better. I can feel like a cart on cartilage, side, you know, but. like the cartilage. Is that what you, right? You know, when you move your your knee, there's like a cartilage feeling. You know, it's. I need oil. <laughs> right. So I'm going to turn this on. So remember, we can't look at the laser. Oh, we okay. can't look at the laser. All right. So you can look at them, but just don't look down here. How about the people watching? Can they They're look safe at on the video. They're safe on the video, okay. you guys. It's like a e eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't stare into the eclipse, even with your sunglasses. Okay. Like. I'll turn my head. Eyes. <laughs> I am praying this works. I really do. And I do thank Mark, because Mark did work on my knee about two months ago. And the biomechanics, you know, what he does, but it still wasn't where, because when I'm feeling pain on that. So what are you doing now? You're lasering my knee? Yeah, so the cold healing laser, this is a class 3B laser. It's 830 nanometers of wavelength. Oh. It has 90 milliwatts of power. What all that means to 
the body is it'll penetrate in to create an anti-inflammatory effect. Okay. It also helps increase the nutrition to the disc. I'm not to the disc, but to the cartilage, the tendons, the ligaments, the muscles in those areas. So it's going to help revitalize the joint while okay. also bringing down the inflammation, getting the waste product out, bringing more nutrition back in, working again on that scar tissue from the old scar tissue, but also from the new injury. Okay. So by getting it healthier and stronger, not only will you feel better now, but it also minimize the chance of you re-aggravating this thing again down the road. I was doing great last week until I walked around my car and hit my knee on the darn little knob that was like the U-Haul truck. Yeah. It was, it so you was re-aggravated it, right? So I yeah. did. I did. So we got to get it healthier so it's not so vulnerable. To or take the hitch off the back of my car. <laughs> so if you yeah. use that on the disc, does it help revitalize a disc if you're working on someone's spine? Yeah, because the disc is real similar to the knee cartilage. It's a tissue that doesn't get any blood supply really to speak mm -hmm. up to it. So unfortunately, just like that sponge we were talking about earlier to the group, it's, it really needs that pumping mechanism to get the hydration and nutrition to the cartilage. Otherwise, it's going to start decaying and causing osteoarthritis in her, which she mm -hmm. has. Yeah, they said I had a little osteoarthritis, a mm. little, little bit of that mm. as well. I hope Pete O'Shea, you're watching because I'm going to send this to you. You're going to see it anyways. And Wade, you need him on your show, the Choice Network as well. So I'm doing a demo for you too, but um, this is, of course, Tantalk Radio Power 106.1 FM. But I'm trying to see if this is going to help my knee. And uh, we need to get you on Pete's show. So um, I'm going to send this video to him when I'm done. Hi, Pete. Hi, Wade. <laughs> I found some more people for your show. I can't look. I'm like, you said, I kind of want to like look. <laughs> what was that one with where they said you couldn't look and you turned to stone? <laughs> don't look, you'll turn into a pillow of salt. Yeah, don't look and I'm tempted to. Just go back and forth a little bit. It's still, yeah, a little right there. There. So yeah. Okay. See, I don't know if it's a muscle. I have, I'm going back to the doctor, of course I am. Hmm. Yeah, what we expect to see is some type of improvement. We wish we could be 100% better, but it looks like you got some scar tissue up here. Too. I know. I have. I was younger, and I was walking around a pool thinking I was, you know, balancing, <laughs> the balancing didn't work. <laughs> I fell, I cut my knee open when I was a kid, I know. This knee has taken a lot of abuse. Yes, it has. And you kick your husband with that leg all the time. Not at all. No? We're newlyweds. Oh. And we're <laughs> love. <laughs> we're still newlyweds. Hi, darling. <laughs> you look, you look so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still newlyweds. He makes me laugh. Sandy and I are too. How many years has it been, Sandy? Almost Nin 30, right? Is it almost 30? Almost, yeah. And what's your secret to a happy marriage? Great they husband. <laughs> Sandy? <laughs> <laughs> a wise guy. <laughs> you know, we just do different projects and that kind of thing to keep things interesting. I like how you guys bike ride together. Yeah, we do stuff together. Yep. See, my husband, I just have, I have a new bike and I have nobody to bike ride with. On the Pinellas Trail, and he said he, you know, he's a little guy, you know, and mm -hmm. he, he said, I don't need to lose any weight to bike ride. But I'll get a motorized bike and follow you. I'm like, that's they not do have those nice Try easy paddle easy. boarding with him. Okay, he, he can likes turn that the water. Well, no, yeah. Yeah. paddle boarding. Okay, this now, one, let's try and see what's same. happening now. Yeah, place here. Now, I want you to squat down and see. Uh, and tell the truth. I'm telling the truth. Is it I, same, I, better, worse? What? It feels, uh, it feels like. 30% better, which is good. So what kind of number do you put on it when you go down? Um, about a five, okay. about a five. It okay. was like a seven. Okay. Yeah. Still so pretty bad in there. Yeah. Okay. And it's been bothering you how long? A year. A year? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it would go and fine as long as I don't hit my knee on anything. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. You know. Stop that one then. Okay. 